Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here at SandTube. Uh, today we are going to be going over the custom or advanced or expert setting in Cura. The reason I'm making this video is because when I first initially got my printer, I looked for slicing softwares and of course I ran across Cura because it was free just like most of you out there. Uh, and I started off with just the basic features that it came with and um, started with that and then I went into the custom settings but I only kept what Kira was offering at that time uh, as default and I used those and just tweaked those but I eventually realized the more I understood about 3D printing and, and their settings that those settings were not enough. I needed a little bit more. So a lot of people <clears throat> like me are out there um, that try to go on the internet on YouTube and try to find out how to actually use these custom settings and how to add more things into it and I'll, I had one hell of a time trying to find videos on it um, so basically in the last couple of months I've been just basically trial and error and uh, I figured out what they do and what they are and uh, with help and Q&A's from other people out there that I've asked, um, I think I have a basic knowledge of uh, the advanced settings and that I can pass on to you guys. So, uh, let's get started on that. Now, of course, if you don't have Cura yet, uh, go ahead and download it. I have another video and it shows you how to download it, set up your printer, and just do the basic functions on it. Uh, today, we're going to go over is the advanced or custom settings so if you notice if I open up Cura here these are the normal custom settings that it comes with normally when I first started this is all I used I picked my infill my support and my um, build plate and then after I got more comfortable I went here <clears throat> and then as time went on I felt like this just wasn't cutting it for me because my first layers weren't coming out right, uh, my wall thickness weren't coming out right, there was too much stringing, things like that. So we will start with quality first, so I'll minimize all this. So if you notice under here, all we have right now is layer height. So how do you add more um, features to this? Uh, well, there's two ways you can do it. Uh, and just keep in mind in this video, guys, I am not going to go over the 200 plus settings that Cura has, but I will go over the ones that I feel are important that I use most of the time. So there's two ways you can uh, bring up more settings. One is a long way. You can go to Cura up here, then go to Preferences, and then System. Now notice here under Quality, only one thing is checked off, right? But these are all the things that you can check off. Under shell, you have those. Under infill, there's that. And material, which is one of the most important ones. Uh, they only have five checked off as of right now. And then speed. And then after that, you have, well, you get the idea. So we're going to do one by one. So basically, what you would do is you go to Cura, Preferences, uh, click on Settings. And then if you notice, on the right hand side here as I click it adds each one on there but like I said I'm not gonna go over all of these so if you hit default it puts it back to what it was and a very easy way to get to it is just if you go to each individual icon there's a little sprocket or gear if you click on that it brings up the same same menu so the ones we're gonna go over in quality today is gonna be layer height initial layer height, line width, wall line width, outer, inner, top, bottom, uh, I believe there's an infill, yep, right here, and the last one would be that, and then the support ones we're just going to go ahead and leave off because I don't really use those. Um, I some of these we're actually not even going to use, but I will tell you why I picked it in a second. Okay, so that's how you pick um, or add more advanced features to 
Kira. So now we can go ahead and get started. Now, of course, layer height, I'm not going to go too much into it. Uh, basically, that's just how thick each layer is. Um, initial layer height. This is when your printer starts. Basically, like the first layer. Uh, you could make it a little bit bigger, or you can leave it the same. Um, I usually make it a little bit bigger. You can go 0.25, you can go 0.3, you can go whatever you want. So we'll just go ahead and change that. Why, now, why would you want to do that? Because on your first original layer, you would want it a little bit thicker, a little bit higher, because you want it to stick to your bed very well, and this will help it do that. Okay, line width, uh, I usually leave that the way it is, because I'm not really going to mess with that. Uh, and because of that, these all fall in the same category. And if you notice, guys, most of these will be your nozzle size, okay, by default. So uh, my nozzle size is 0.4. So if you have a 0.3, you can go in there and change it to a 3. But like I said, minus 4. Now if you notice how all that changes at one time, that's just the default that Cura has in there because most of these will be your nozzle size anyways. Now, the only one that I use, the 3 that I use a lot is layer height, of course, and uh, initial layer, layer height. Layer height, um, most people go with two, but if you want it a little bit more finer, let's say if you're printing a little bit more detail, you can take that sucker down to one. Now, keep in mind, the lower you go on the layer height, the longer the print will be. I mean, you're looking at almost double the time. So be careful with this one. Uh, most people print at two, so do I, unless you got something that's very detailed. Uh, layer height, again, just make it a little bit thicker, or you can leave it the same, whatever you want. Let's go and change that back to two. Uh, by default, these right here, uh, the line width will be your nozzle size. Top and bottom line width. This is very important. Now, if you notice, I have this at five while my nozzle size is a four. Why do I do that? Well, the reason for that, like I said earlier, is the top and bottom line, you want them a little bit thicker. Only reason is because when it lays down the the first layer of filament on your heated bed here um, you want it a little bit thicker because it covers more surface therefore giving you a better adhesion to your bed okay and um, what that does is it just makes it a little bit stronger so if you're building a really tall or if you're doing a really tall print this is gonna make it a little bit more secure in my opinion and uh, so far, it's worked out great for me. So, um, these two, same thing. It just stays at nozzle, nozzle height. Now, keep in mind, you can change these. People, in rare cases, do change them to like one point less than what their nozzle size is. So, if like I have a four, I can put it at a point three. Why I would do that is if I wanted to print something in really, really really big detail like smooth and uh, just give it that outside look uh, like basically the layers won't even be there but the drawback to that is because you're printing smaller size uh, your structural value will suffer so it won't be as strong as it should be unless you go ahead and mess with all the other settings but I would just leave these the way it is uh, normally I don't even use it, but I just wanted to point it out just in case you got that one project where you needed something super detailed uh, and you didn't care about the structure on it, okay? So that covers your quality right there. So we're just going to go ahead and minimize that. All right, guys, so that should do it for this video. I do apologize for the shortness of it, uh, but I want to do each section individually this way. It's very easy to look up if you ever need to reference it later down the line. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's any questions, comments, leave it below. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Uh, if you like the video, great. 
if you want to see more videos like this then go ahead and subscribe um, and like always guys um, good luck and happy printing